Hi everyone, I am so honored to be here. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to present my study. Today I'd like to share about my survey, which is conducted in the United Arab Emirates, Sharjah. Uh, so the contents are like this. I will start with the need for a study. Um, music therapy has been recognized as an effective treatment for children with disabilities. Music therapists expanded their services to an increasingly diverse population in the following decades, which led to an increase of music therapists providing services in various special education areas. In the United Arab Emirates, music has traditionally not been included in the public education curriculum. Despite regulations in music education in our countries, uh, recently the use of music for children with disabilities has gained attention for being an effective treatment method. In 2013, a special education institution in the UAE launched the first music therapy program for children with disabilities by forming an agreement of mutual support with a university in Korea. Since then, the demand for music therapy in special education for children with disabilities has increased. Moreover, um, teachers and special educators started to use music in special education settings which was highly perceived as an effective treatment medium. Investigating parents' perceptions is a broad strategy to understand how children with disabilities make progress in music therapy. Um, children spend most of their time with their parents and are greatly influenced by them, in which parents are the most knowledgeable guardians to provide information uh, regarding their children. This study focuses on how parents of children with disabilities perceive music therapy in the UAE, which is especially important given the specific circumstances where music education was mostly absent for most children. For further development of music therapy programs in the UAE, it is imperative to better understand this particular subject. So here are the purpose of this study. Um, first, what are the characteristics of the music therapy program for children with disabilities implemented in Shaza? Second, how are the parents' experiences in participating in the music therapy program in Shaza? Um, third, what are the parents' perceptions toward music therapy for children with disabilities in Shaza? Um, how satisfied are the parents with the music therapy program uh, provided to their children? What expectations do the parents have regarding the music therapy program for their children? Are there differences in music therapy satisfaction between parents who participated in music therapy sessions and those who did not? Um, let's move on to the methods. Participants of the study um, include parents um, of children who have received music therapy sessions from an institution in Sharza. Participants were recruited through an official request. Uh, questionnaire items were established on the literature review and previous studies of special education staff and related services um, of professionals perceptions on music therapy, which is conducted by Ma, Huang, Ko, and Warren. Items adapted from studies were modified or newly formulated to match based on study objectives and the characteristics of the music therapy program in the UAE. The survey contained a total of 43 questions um, consisting of three parts that examined participants and child's demographic information, um, music therapy experiences, and perceptions on music therapy. The questionnaire were, uh, was 
validated by four music therapy experts, including three music therapists of PhD and one music therapist with KCMT certification, to examine the feasibility, a pilot study was conducted in Seoul, Korea, in which a total of 10 parents of children with disabilities uh, participated. After that, uh, the investigator contacted um, the institution's assistant director to explain the purpose of the study and the institution gave its approval. The assistant director, um, director reviewed the final survey items and consent form, which was translated into Arabic. Uh, the participants completed the survey using an online survey platform from November 26 to December 24, 2020. Our participants um, per participated in voluntary and completed a consent form. Participants were informed of the research objectives and procedures. About 100 emails were sent to the parents and 35 of them responded and 33 of them were valid. Results show that the demographic information about parents is like this among the parent respondents. 3% was a father and 97% were mothers. Participants were mostly aged between 31 to 40. Uh, parents' children who received music therapy sessions aged ranged from 3 to 16 years with an average age of 7.9 years. The majority of were diagnosed with intellectual disorder Two participants responded that their children had Gilbert syndrome and one participant responded that his uh, her child has social anxiety. Next is about music therapy experience, especially about program setting. The majority of um, them received the last music therapy session one to five months ago. The mean total length of received music therapy sessions was 1.1 years. The total length of the received sessions ranged from 1 to 52 months. And the mean duration of the session was 26.3 minutes, ranging from 20 to 60 minutes. And the majority of them, 31%, received group music therapy. Um, special education teacher was the highest percentage of music therapy session provider uh, followed by music therapist. Also, 33.3% of the participants had experience directly um, participating in a child's music therapy session. Among the respondents, group session participation um, 72.7% rate was the highest. Also, three per parents participated in a Zoom online music therapy session. 45% of par parents had experiences in observing their child's session. And the 45% of the participants were familiar with the music the children played during the music therapy sessions. Among them, 42% of participants responded that they have heard the child sing or play the session music outside of music therapy sessions. Most of the parents got information about music therapy through the institution center. 41% um, of the parents decided to receive music therapy because it was perceived as effective whereas 33% responded that their choice was based on the good fit with their child's needs. Now let's look on the parents' perceptions on the music therapy. The mean overall satisfaction rate was 4.5, whereas the mean willingness to recommend to others was 4.5. Um, high satisfaction ratings were also showed in satisfaction of session environment and therapist ex expertise. Among the responses, the lowest satisfaction rates were the session frequency. Among the participants, 93% um, of them responded that they desired to receive additional assistance, information, or events about music therapy. 
the highest rating, 43% answered that they want to receive new assignments that children can apply at home or school. Now let's see what kind of expectation parents have of music therapy. 90% responded that they wanted to learn the music therapy strategy used in their children's sessions from institutions or a therapist. Among the participants that responded yes, 33% chose basic knowledge of music therapy and 23% chose tasks applicable to the home or society with children. Of those who did not want help, 66% uh, responded as there was no opportunity. 66% um, responded that they had made attempts to learn more about music therapy. Among the participants who responded yes, 45 of them, 45 percent of them chose uh, seminars or events related to music therapy to learn more about music therapy, while 32 percent chose reading. Of those who did not feel the need to learn more about music therapy, 37 percent responded that I wanted to, but I did not know how. Uh, parents' most satisfying aspect of child's music therapy sessions was therapeutic effectiveness. Uh, while 24% selected uh, suitability of treatment environment. On the other hand, 41% uh, responded others as the parents' expectation on child's music therapy settings. Most of the parents responded that everything was satisfying. Lastly, an independent t-test was used to examine the differences in music therapy satisfaction between parents who participated in music therapy sessions and those who did not. Results showed that parents uh, who had experience directly participating in the child's session had a significantly higher mean satisfaction rating than those who did not. Also, results show that parents who, did, who had experience observing the child session had a significantly higher mean satisfaction rating than those who did not. The purpose of uh, this study was to investigate the parents' perception of music therapy given to their children with disabilities in the United Arab Emirates. For this purpose, this study investigated the characteristics of the music therapy program implemented, parents, parents' experience with music therapy and parents' perception toward music therapy. The discussion centered around the results of this study are as follows. First, the study found that half the participants were currently in the middle of sessions. Music therapy services are provided not only by music therapists but also by other professionals including special educators. Uh, participants also responded that they decided to receive music therapy sessions for their ch children because they thought music therapy is efficient or suits for their child's needs. Uh, nearly half of the participants could directly uh, partic participate in or observe music therapy sessions for their child. However, music therapy information or session participation opportunities are yet sufficient. Second, the results show that most participants were generally satisfied with the music therapy program. Parents responded that their children feel comfortable around the music environment. This indicates that although the UAE country has a very different cultural background where music had not been part of the public education curriculum, music therapy can still improve developmental skills and enhance the quality of their lives. However, these results should be generalized with caution, considering that this study only investigates uh, the perceived satisfaction of parents reported. Lastly, this study compared parents' perceptions depending on whether they directly participated in a music therapy session or observed their child session. The level of satisfaction with music therapy was higher for those parents who have participated in their child sessions. However, parents experience specific circumstances. These findings reveal that 
as the parents participated in music therapy sessions, they could experience music and pe perceive music function. These findings may provide a basis for countries that are expect expanding music therapy information or educative seminars for parents of children with disabilities in the UAE. Um, this study found the fundamental information about how the music therapy program proceed in Sharza and how parents perceive their children's music therapy session. For further music therapy sessions, this information could be useful for implementing the program. Also, the study results reveal that parents who had participated in the child's music therapy were more satisfied in the program than those who did not. That indicates that as parents participate in their child's sessions, they are able to perceive how their children, children progresses in the music, the music environment. Furthermore, parents have intentions to learn more about their ch children's music therapy sessions. Therefore, uh, integrating parents or parental efforts into the therapeutic process would be suggested. The researcher conducted a research only in Sharjah in the UAE. Therefore, it's broader applicability will need further study in other cities and Arab countries. Also, the findings of this study can be further investigated using in-depth measurements. Despite the investigators' in initial plan was to focus on parents with children who received therapy sessions less than six months before the survey, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic had uh, significantly disrupted therapy sessions in recent months. Subsequently, the researcher had to adapt and expand the study pool to include all parents whose children have received music therapy in the past. Therefore, a follow-up study would be needed where researchers investigate parents' perceptions using qualitative methods to investigate a more comprehensive understanding of the parents with children receiving music therapy. Thank you very much.